Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's web whiz video number four where once again I take you on a little trip around some of my favorite mathematical websites. Now last July I was very fortunate enough to attend a talk at the TSM conference by Mr Conrad Wolfram where he demonstrated his wonderful Wolfram Alpha website and it's a website I've been using for a good couple of years I've got the app on my iPhone as well um, I know I sound like I'm product placing for everybody here but it's a fantastic website the students love it and I absolutely love it as well so I thought we'd take a little look at Wolfram Alpha today and see some of the delights it has to offer so here we go Wolfram alpha give it a little click and here it is there now the first thing i really like about it is it's dead simple it's gone for the kind of google style here just the search box um, if you've got a bit of spare time just clicking through some of these examples there's loads and loads and loads of stuff you can search for on here i'm just going to show you some of my favorites so i'm going to start with my name craig and i'm going to put that straight up against my girlfriend's name kate and see what wolfram alpha finds out about this now, sometimes it takes a little bit of a while to compute because it's a very clever machine and a lot's going on, but here we go. Now, the first thing is it gives you the popularity of the names according to US 2010 birth registers. So I'm lagging behind a little bit there. And then it tells you that one in 5,682 people are called Cray compared to one, 000, one in 1,319 people, which is quite nice. But now we go on to the maths bit. I like the graphs here. Kate's were very, very popular before 1890 then they took a right dip but there seems to have been a rise whereas i was very popular in the 60s and 70s and then when i come onto the scene around about here popularity of craig dips i won't take any offense from that though um, if we have a little scroll down there expected number um, of people alive today with those names and again you can imagine the kids really really like this and find it very very interesting if you're whizzing their, their names. I like that, most common age for a Craig is 51, most common age for a Kate is uh, four. And then there you go, you can see there that most of the Craigs around about the 50s and the Kates, you're not getting many old Kates flying around there. And then you get all the variations of the names. So that's that, a nice little fun starter, but let's get into the juicy stuff here. If I type in mathematics, this is where it all starts kicking off. So this uh, mathematics is a general topic area. So it gives you a little example of all the different things you can do. So just like any search engine, you can put in um, addition, sum, subtractions, blah, 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 and I'll handle it. But then you get this nice stuff. So type in pi to a thousand digits into the search box and straight off, there you go. And what's nice about each of these pages is if you click at the bottom, download as a PDF, you'll get that as a PDF that you can then print out and give to your students. So there's pi again. Uh, pretty impressive but it gets better and better you can do binary numbers but this is really nice you can plot graphs and it's nice because you just type it in as you would do and Wolfram Alpha can interpret it so if we have a look what it how it handles this particular graph a, a cubic and um, once you type it in like that it turns it into nice looking f uh, text for you and there's your graph there which is quite nice and um, it's very good for inequalities as well if you see they've got one set up here there plot the uh, that quadrant and um, that circle it looks to me um, and the y equals x graph well let's have a look there and it shades in the regions so there you go you get a nice circle and y has got to be greater than x so you get that region there again pretty good it can handle very 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 high level math so it can solve um, algebraic equations it can factorize polynomials which is pretty handy as well if you you want to quickly check something so you can type in any polynomial it'll factorize it and it'll show you the graph there which is pretty nice now let's keep going and see what else is going on it's very good at calculus i like this you just type in a derivative of whatever you want and it'll differentiate it for you and what's nice as well is this little bit show steps so you can see the working out that's required to get their use of product rule and blah 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 which is nice and if you scroll down the page you get some nice little graphs and alternate forms of it as well which is pretty lovely stuff now let's keep going down the page see what else is going on this is nice as well for your younger students if you type in the name of a three-dimensional shape or any shape Wolfram Alpha will give you a nice little uh, picture of it and also some nice uh, extra information about it so alternate names it'll give you the vertices edges and faces some formulas for the volume the net of it which is lovely and there you go and some nice properties of it there so i thought that was very nice um 
yeah, again, you've got all your discrete maths and your applied maths and logic and set theory, stuff that's well over my head, but you can have a little play around with that. And then some nice little maths histories. If you type in Fermat's little theorem, you get the full details on that. But I wanted to end with this because at the top here, you can inter interpret maths as a topic area, but you can also interpret mathematics as a word. And if you click on that, and you can do this with any common word, you get some nice statistics here. So you get a definition, which is very nice, but then it all starts kicking off as we go down the screen here. You get how popular the word is, both written and spoken. So it looks to me like more people are talking about maths and writing about maths. It wasn't very popular at all uh, before the 1600s, but look at this. Maths is peaking, peaking, peaking. It takes a little nosedive there in the, uh, maybe about in the 1980s. Again, when I come on the scene, which I'm not happy about, but then it, then it starts increasing a little bit there. So there's Wolfram Alpha. It's just an amazing thing just to have a play around with. If you've got five minutes left at the end of a lesson, it's great just to get the students to shout out stuff and just show them. It just hooks them in and shows them some of the some of the wonders of the power of the web that's out there. So there's the website. If you've used it um, in any exciting or interesting way or want to comment on it, please, please, please do so on the TES page. And I will be back with another maths website next week. Bye for now.